Hello and welcome to the 5 minutes overview of Well Architected for Startups. My name is Lee and I'm a Startup Solution Architect at AWS. Together with you, I'll dive deep today into the performance efficiency pillar for startups. Performance efficiency is one of the five pillars of the AWS Well Architect Framework. If you're not aware of the AWS Well Architect Framework and review, you can watch the overview video of the series. The performance efficiency pillar is about focusing on using efficient computing resources to meet your requirement and being able to maintain the efficiency as your requirements changes or technology involves. So why this is important for startups? As a startup, you want to demonstrate to your investors and business partners that you have maximized utilizations of resources. You want to demonstrate that you have the potential for growth, and you also want to have your infrastructure that can be easily involved as technology changes or requirements changes as your business grow. Learn from our customers, we summarized into five design principles to help you achieve performance efficiency. The first is democratize advanced technologies, meaning you should make ad the advanced technology implementations easier for your team and delegate the complex tasks to your cloud vendors. Go global in minutes. You should design your technologies to allow it to scale geographically quickly. For example, deploying your workload in multiple AWS regions around the world allows you to provide lower latency and better experience for your customers at minimal cost. Use serverless architecture, remove the need for you to run and maintain physical servers. Experiment more often. It means when you design your architecture with virtual infrastructure and automated process, then you can carry out comparative testings with different types of instance, storage, or configurations quickly. Consider mechanical sympathy. It means try to use the technology approach that aligns the best with your workload goals. For example, Consider your data access patterns when you select storage or database approach. Now, let's dive deep into two of the principles that I found are getting lots of interest from startup customers. The first is to use serverless architectures. It removes the need for you to run and maintain physical servers. For example, if you have a workload that needs to run daily, Rather than having an EC2 machine running all day, you can trigger the serverless compute, such as Lambda or Fargate, to run the jobs when you need it. You will have a better utilization of your resource, less management on the machine. Also, you don't have to configure scaling. Serverless is more than compute. Any AWS services where you don't manage servers is called serverless. Serverless services comes with automatic scaling, Build in high availability and pay for value billing model. A common example is S3, where our customers use as object storage. It provides unlimited capacity and 11 nice availability. Consider an application that traditionally builds on EC2 instance with a load balancer. A sudden increase of demand are still bound by scaling EC2 instances. Even with an auto-scaling policy, your instance may take several minutes until they're serving request. In this architecture, you use S3 to host static website, API gateway to receive API calls, and to trigger Lambda to perform business logics. So this new architecture removes the infrastructure that you don't need to manage and scales easier. And you, of, you often only just need to configure settings like concurrency or throughput rather than CPU, memory, or disks. It also helps tracking usage against cost better because each of the components you'll be only pay for what you use. The next design principle is experiment more often. From this, you can benefit from faster collecting feedbacks and iterate your products faster. Define your infrastructure's code using approach such as AWS CloudFormation templates can help you achieve it. The use of the templates allows you to place your infrastructures into source control 
alongside of your application code and configurations. This allows you to apply for the same principles that you use to develop software in your infrastructure, so you can iterate rapidly in your infrastructure, rather than manually reset for every time, which is also error-prone. Thanks for watching this episode on performance efficiency, and please keep watching the series as we keep dive deep into each of the well-architect pillars. Thank you.